money, resources, wealth. Around the world, these things are not shared equally. Some people live in countries where almost everyone has access to clean water, education, jobs, and safety. In other places, people may struggle to afford even the basics, like food, shelter, or medical care. But what's even more surprising is just how unequal the global distribution of wealth really is. Let's break it down. Wealth distribution means how the world's money and resources are shared across countries, regions, and people. Spoiler alert, it's not even close to being balanced. Right now, the richest 10% of the world's population holds more than 75% of all global wealth. Meanwhile, the poorest half of the world, billions of people, own just 2%. Wealth is highly concentrated in regions like North America, Europe, and parts of the Middle East. Countries like the United States, Canada, Germany, and the United Arab Emirates have high GDPs, strong infrastructure, and large corporations that create wealth for both the government and many of its citizens. But that's not the whole story. Even within those countries, wealth isn't always shared evenly. There are still people facing homelessness, food insecurity, and poverty in some of the richest places on earth. Now let's look at the other side. Many of the world's poorest nations are located in sub-Saharan Africa and parts of South and Southeast Asia. These countries often have a combination of development challenges, like unstable governments, lack of access to education or healthcare, or long histories of colonization and resource exploitation. That doesn't mean people there aren't working hard. It means the systems they're part of make it harder to build and keep wealth. We're also seeing new patterns emerge. Countries like China, India, and Brazil are called emerging economies. These countries are rapidly growing and their global influence is rising. China, for example, now has one of the world's largest economies. But it also has big differences between rural and urban wealth. In India, massive cities like Mumbai are booming while rural villages still face poverty and lack of infrastructure. So even within countries, the distribution of wealth can be extremely uneven. Understanding these patterns helps us ask bigger questions. Why is wealth so concentrated in some places? What factors create or block economic growth? And what can be done to create a fairer system for everyone? Here's your challenge. You're going to visualize global wealth like never before, using just 100 tiny squares. To complete this challenge, you'll receive a large sheet made up of 100 blank squares. Each square represents 1% of the world's total wealth. Based on real-world data, your job is to color in the squares to represent how wealth is shared across different regions of the globe. You'll be given a chart that breaks it down for you. For example, North America has 32% of global wealth, so you color 32 squares one color. Europe has 27%, so color 27 squares another color. China 18%, India 3%, Africa 1%. Other parts of Asia and South America will each get a slice too. Have a legend for your diagram so it's clear what each color represents. Once you finish your colored chart, take a step back and really look at it. Think about what it shows. Then complete a short written reflection where you'll respond to these questions. What surprises you most about the global wealth distribution? How do you think this inequality affects people's daily lives? What are some possible ways to make the distribution of wealth more fair? Remember, this activity isn't about blame, it's about awareness. 
by understanding where wealth is and isn't, we can better understand the challenges people face around the world and how geography, history, and economics all play a role in creating those patterns. Once your chart and reflection are complete, you'll have a chance to discuss your observations with your classmates. Good luck.